good afternoon. We have called together with the U.S. after the lecture on Ukraine for this meeting to analyze the situation after the latest escalation. As everybody knows, um, Russia has changed the course of its positions many times. This is the latest and the most escalatory uh, one of what we have seen so far. With this, we see that the war is not only in Ukraine, but it has also entered the Russian households. And we see, and no surprise, um, to see protests in various places in Russia against the um, um, call for uh, going to Ukraine because we believe that um, the uh, Russian uh, citizens do not want to go there because they don't understand what they have to do, why they have to die in this war that they do not want and they do not understand like almost uh, uh, everyone uh, around the world. Um, this new development of the referendums, which will be known by the sham referendums, are what we hi I have called in the council before the assembly, the referendum assembly line that Russia is putting into action. This comes at a particular moment that Russia has been defeated on the ground and they need an escape goat. And this is also the very true, for the first time we know the real aim of this war. It is to take a part of Ukraine. Contrary to what we have said, we have heard from the very beginning, so many times, um, no's and no's and no's, when the reality proves just yeses and yeses and yeses. This uh, attempt to hold these referendums um, um, the, on the four regions of Ukraine are um, um, a territory grab in the territory grab of the basket of Russia. And what we are trying, will try to do today and probably in the days to come through a concrete resolution is to have the international community meet Russia before checkout. And Thank Ambassador, you. do you have unanimity other than Russia on the Security Council? Well, we are working on that. Uh, the text has been distributed. We'll see how it goes. We have seen that before, and I hope we will, see, we will have the Council um, around a text which clearly states uh, the respect for the Charter, for international law, and for the unacceptability of what Russia is doing in Ukraine. Thank How you. How important is it that President Zelensky gets to speak today? Just like it has been in the three previous times. We need to hear the President, we need to hear the Commander-in-Chief, especially at this moment when Ukraine is absolutely kicking Russia out. Thank you very Thank much. You.